Well, I'm joined in the studio by the two key figures from the African Nations Club for UK, Daniel Lataya and Jawa Olo, an, an official uh, S uh, Somaliland team in the African Nations Club UK, to talk about some of those uh, results today. And I was to talk very quickly about La Liga and Barcelona. Do you think that they're going to get the treble? And do you think that they're actually going to win the league? I think, and um, thank you for having us. I think in terms of Barca, they all, they all win the league, Ben. In terms of them winning the Champions League, I think Real Madrid will come good at the end. Really? Yeah. That's big talk there. They've got some, you know, feet to do. They've got to beat Juventus. You think they can beat Juventus? Um, I think uh, uh, Juventus will give them a big problem uh, because they are experienced and uh, they've got the skills and the resilience to stay uh, to the top. And I think they can be come out as a victor. Well, uh, talking very quickly about Real Madrid, uh, what's going on with Bale and Ronaldo? They seem to have, like, especially Bale, he's, he hasn't been getting a lot of plaudits from the journalists or fans uh, since he's gone over to, uh, well, since this season, really. What's going on? This season, to be honest, Bale's been really, Bale's been really um, poor. And last season, he played really well, and he's even, he even scored in the Champions League. But I think the relationship between Cristiano and Bale is not good at the moment. Why but, not? I don't know. There must be something going on because Bell's not the same player. We all know he, what he can do, but this season he's been off form. And but I honestly believe that he will come good and he might prove it against Juventus. Okay. Well, looking at uh, Bayern Munich, they lost today. I know they were already the champions, but are things a bit uh, tricky there? Do you think that you know um, Pep Guardiola could leave and maybe start with uh, Manchester City? And against Barca, they really we weren't expecting that from. Bar and Bayern Munich. Mm -hmm. Bayern Munich, uh, when Guardiola took over, mm -hmm. they were Chuba winners. And from where they were at now and the way they are now, it seems like they've dropped mm. down a bit. So there's something happening there that the play, some of the players are not happy with Guardiola. Oh, gosh. Uh, we see how it goes. I can't imagine no, anyone not being happy with Guardiola. But uh, let's look at the, uh, the Premier League and Manchester United today. They beat uh, Crystal Palace 2 1. What are your thoughts on today's game? I think it was a, a tough match for Manchester United, and they got a, a, a really a, a tough competition from Aaron Padu tactics. Their boys had one of the best uh, attacking structure, and uh, the defence of Manchester United really it is open. And I believe right now Manchester United should think about having. Uh, 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 spending power during the when the uh, uh, opening season op opens up for buying the new players, they should now look at making their defense stronger. Um, it was so tough for them. They are so lucky to see that uh, they managed to get a, uh, a winning goal in the last few minutes. Well, yeah, a winning goal from Marouane Fellaini. Who would have thought? He's, he's just changed, uh, he's transformed, especially Ashley Young as well. What has he done to transform their, uh, their fortunes? I think uh, it was about the will to win because everyone knew that today if they don't win they are in big trouble for joining the, uh, the uh, championship league next season. And they had to do it, uh, give it all, uh, whatever they can, and they had to prove that. And it was not easy, but they, they, they won. A win is a win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, talking about winners tomorrow, uh, Chelsea up against uh, Liverpool. Uh, Chelsea are oh, the champions. How do you see that one going? I think um, Chelsea have got nothing to play for. They're, they're, the, they're champions. But um, Liverpool need to get themselves into the, um, to fight. Still, they still got hope in, in terms of getting to the Champions League or finishing the season on a high. Uh, we know Brendan Rodgers is a good manager, but his Liverpool team has been struggling, so I think he might finish 1-1 tomorrow. What, a draw? Really? Draw, yeah. well, what are your views on the champions? How do you see their season? Have they been brilliant? Have they been boring? I think the start of the season, and uh, Mourinho, has, uh, we're, not, we're not used to him playing a beautiful football like we're used to Barca or Arsenal down playing, but at the start of the season he was playing good football, but towards the end of the season he just wanted to get the job done. He, he, none of the job, none of his games were entertaining. He was just getting results. But does Whatever that matter? Means but but I, I, I think I, I, I object with that because a win is a win. Always, when he comes to the uh, p to the any game, is there to win. 
and he uses all his skills, psychological tactics, and uh, uh, motivation to make sure that they come out to that uh, game as winners. And I believe that's why he's getting paid for, and well, yeah. <laughs> that's why they're champions. He's getting paid to win, and he does it very Definitely. well. Thank you very much, gentlemen. <laughs> Right, so joining me in the studio this evening to talk about the upcoming African Nations Cup is the sports agents Danny Lutaya and Jama Olo, the official Somaliland's team in the African Nations Cup UK. Now, gentlemen, what do we have to look forward to? Uh, it's very interesting because now it's time is approaching to have the Africa Cup of Nations UK starting off on 30th of May at West Ham Memorial Ground and we are so excited to see that we have our new entrance um, uh, Somaliland and uh, he can tell us what they are having yeah. the pipeline. No pressure but you've got a huge yes. following, very huge following, so and you feeling the pressure? No, not really, we're looking forward to the pressure, we're excited so this is the first time Somaliland took part in the African Nation Cup UK which is a great tournament where a lot of African countries take part. And Somaliland has a lot of talent, and we want to put it forward for the African uh, people and African and communities to see it. And every agent out there, if they are scouting for talent, Somalilanders have them, and we advise them to all come on the 30th of May. And all the other African countries, we're going to uh, put, put forward a beautiful game and where some islanders are known to play beautiful football. We're excited, we've got beautiful followers, and our supporters are all excited, beautiful colours. So we're all looking forward to it, to be honest. We've been preparing well, and today we had a competition, and 18th of May competition, where we say we, every year we have it. It's our independence, 18th of May. And we had 13 teams take, took part all over. Teams came from all over the UK, and it was very, it was successful. Uh, a team from Birmingham, Oscar from East London, are finalists and they're going to play the final on the 16th. So we've been scouting players yeah. from all over. So we're taking this competition very serious. Yeah. Sierra Leone are the champions from last year. Mm -hmm. And Sierra Leone, uh, we're not, as for my landers, we're not scared of them. <laughs> this club will call, go home with us. Oh, very. That's, so that's <laughs> proper fighting tour. Now, this is some impressive piece of silverware. Um, tell us about your journey I mean like you said before it's the first time you've been in this competition but what did it take for you to get to this position and it was a, it was a long journey and us in Somaliland we love sports and in East Africa it's known to for runners like Mo Farah mm, yeah. but <laughs> and we, in East Africa we've got a lot of young Somalilanders who are very and very and talented and we wanted to put it forward and find a platform that they can show their showcase Luckily, the African Nation Cup UK and, and Daniel and, and Dennis and Marshall has shown us that they gave us the opportunity for uh, some Islanders to be on stage for young some Islanders to show the sports talent. And sports is, 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 is very important because me and Daniel, it's sports that brought us together. Mm -hmm. And we're looking forward to this tournament. It's our first time. It won't be our last time. Oh, no. And You're we're going home as champions, that. yes. Well, you're, like I said, you're, you're, you're oozing confidence, but tell us the players to watch out for. We've got a, a, a player who's very talented called Kadir, he, and he's, he's, he's got a brother called Khalid. They're both very talented. And today I've met another and, and a player and who's really good who's playing for a team from Birmingham. We've got a, few, a lot of good players, and to be honest, we've... Our uh, 11 starting players, we've got about a good eight that have got a lot of talent that will shine and that, and that other African countries that won't keep up. Okay. Well, you've just heard him and the, you know, the confident talk there. How do you rate their chances? Um, I, I, for me, I rate uh, Somaliland because I, from my uh, research, I've seen that they brought a lot of heat, uh, great following. Uh, right now, we receive thousands and thousands of phone calls um, and we we are sure that when the uh, tournament kicks off we're gonna see a real uh, uh, small man but very skillful because I've been 
looking at them and when they are training and they are tiny men but so skillful so we're gonna see nigeria fighting with <laughs> the small men know, and uh, this is gonna be so interesting to see a lion chasing <laughs> a rat so oh, right. oh, okay. a rabbit so okay. it's gonna be so interesting to see how these uh, uh young people mm. uh, come to showcase their talent and not only that but also uh having this community inclusion mm. because this tournament is about y uniting our communities. Yeah, I was going to say, well, tell us more about the tournament, you know, how much work did you have to put into getting it to this far? Yeah, um, we started in 2009, however, we started with eight countries whereby uh, Nigeria won it for the first time mm. and we increased to, uh, to uh, 16 countries. Now we've capped it to 20, whereby yeah. it is becoming one of the biggest tournaments for Africans in the diaspora and we are following all the regulations of the FA and we are affiliated with Essex and uh, FA County under the FA and we've received different uh, awards in the community and uh, the most uh, uh, knowledgeable one is the one in 2013 Prince William gave us an award in Buckingham oh Paris yeah. on 13th of uh, um, October and which is a big achievement because we could not believe that we can get it within a, just a short time or period. But it was all about following what we are doing in the community. Yeah. We bring thousands of people together. And not only that, we are getting all the big corporate companies come on board to access the community and sell their services. For example, Rebara and World Remit. And we thank all those people who are supporting yeah. us to see that. We move this no, it's a brilliant thing that platform. you're doing, and I can't wait to see the results. Gentlemen, thank you for thank joining you. me this evening.